What's going on, my wonderful outcast? This is your boy Retro Queen, and we're back up in this thing with another NF reaction, man. And we got NF Story. And I, I like I, just off of the title alone, I already know what's about to go down. Like, we, cause I done, I done told y'all over and over, NF got some of the best storytelling that I done heard from an artist. And to have a title that says story, I know that it's time to sit back, relax, grab some snacks, and enjoy the movie. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. We got NF Story. Oh, so we got. Let me see. Hmm. Woke up in a bad place. Should probably get up so I'm not late. Stared at my phone for the past eight minutes. Had nothing. My head aches. Bottles empty by the lampshade. Mod of Excedrin again, great Too early to tell, but at this rate I'm thinking this might be a bad day I walk out the bedroom, my roommates I sleep on the couch with her two-faced Boyfriend who lives here but don't pay A penny for rent, but he still stays She says he's broke, I'm like, no way Probably sells drugs, but she won't say Told me he dabbles in real estate I mean, I don't believe it, but okay Okay, pull out the driveway Hold on, yeah Whew. So, I, if I ain't mistaken it's about two, maybe three other songs that I done reacted to where he kind of had some other people, um, you know, just kind of, I guess, acting along as he, you know, uh, you know, telling his story and stuff. But so far, like the, the thing that I like that he portrayed, the girl woke up and she already got bad thoughts going through her head. Like, you know, like it, I'm gonna have a bad day. So naturally, you wake up thinking like that, you're not really expecting it, nothing to go right. It's just, it's just gonna seem, like you wake up with that type of negative energy, it just seems like everything bad gonna happen throughout the day. So wake up in a positive, you know, with a positive attitude. And one one thing that I like to say, you know, every morning when I wake up, I, before I grab my phone, before I get out of bed, I immediately thank God for waking me up and allowing me to see another day. And like, you know, throughout the day, as I'm talking to people, I hear them complaining and stuff, you know, I always tell them like, hey, you, at least you got one thing good going for you. You woke up because somebody didn't wake up today to even have the chance to complain. So, you know, just be thankful. And that like, it, it's so much that could be, you know, like that could be said just off of these first few seconds, man. She says he's broke, I'm like, no way Probably sells drugs, but she won't say Told me he dabbles in real estate I mean, I don't believe it, but okay, okay Pull out the driveway Notice my gas tank's on E again Well, of course it is Guess I probably should stop at the gas station So I take a right, pull up to the pump While it's pumping, I look at my ashtray Then remember, I need to get cigarettes Anything to help my mind state So I park and walk inside, wait I should probably get something to drink and eat, I guess So I finally grab a couple bags of chips Where's the candy? Oh yeah, here it is. Which one should I get? Should I grab the Starburst or change it up and maybe grab the Twix? Mmm, grab the Starburst and I started walking as I passed the garbage and I reach a fridge. I hear someone yelling at the front of the store. Probably just a homeless guy getting bored. Probably just a customer whose car didn't work and now he wants to start a war. Man, I can't afford to keep buying energy drinks every day. I shut the door then turn around and as I'm heading towards the counter with my drink, I hear, Hey, open up the drawer! Crouching on the floor, peek around the aisle, gun is on. I was wondering where this was going. Like when he, when he was like, he heard a voice at the front door, probably thinking there's a homeless person. Like, and see, I'm, I'm so paranoid. Like first I, I I'm real eerie about going to groceries. I mean, like all the convenience stores, like this time of the morning and everything. And it like the whole time, like while she walking through the store and stuff, I love how I ended up, you know, telling the story and she acting out everything. It, it's almost like, it's her inner thoughts that that NF is uh portraying right now, but while she going through the store, like I'm, I'm the type of person I'm always gonna be looking at the front door and I'm gonna always be listening for those sounds and stuff. And like when she first heard that sound, you know, probably thinking it was a homeless person or you know, God knows what else. Like my, I don't know, my my spidey sense would have been tingling right then and now. But I, like, and I, I, don't, I mean, she in there now, so it ain't really much that she could do, but. 
At least he could have been a little bit better prepared, though. Just the customer's card didn't work, and now he wants to start a war. Man, I can't afford to keep buying energy drinks every day. I shut the door, then turn like around, that. and as I'm heading towards the counter with my drink, I hear, Hey, open up the drawer! Woo. Crouching on the floor, peek around the aisle, gun is on the floor, head of the man that's behind the counter, now my heart is pounding and I'm praying to the Lord, I don't die today, I can't die today, I got things to do, trying not to shake, plotting my escape, where's my cell phone at, left it in my car, icing on the cake, I start crawling, I can hear him yelling, I want every penny, I want every dime, yeah, once you finish with the cash, open up the bag, throw some cigarettes inside, yeah, which ones do you want, which ones do you want, I'm not picky, give me any kind, give me all of them, yeah, just toss them Goodbye. in, keep it moving on, I'm running low on time and I did She about to mess up. She doing too much. See, uh, it, it feel like a movie, man. Like She doing too much moving right now. And she made a rookie mistake. Anytime you go in the, in the store, always have your phone on you. And one thing that I do, most of the time, I keep two phones on me because a lot of times, um, like if, if, if you end up, you know, like getting caught or whatever, a lot of times, if, if you got a smart person that's, you know, doing a robbery or anything like that, they going to, one of the first things they going to say is put your phones in the bag. And normally, like, I'm always kind of prepared for that moment. And, like, if they do ask for the phone, I'm immediately throwing one phone in the bag. And I don't know how the Androids are, but iPhone got, like, this emergency thing where you can keep hitting, the uh, like, the power button or something. And it'll trigger, like, a 911 alarm or something like that. But... I don't know if it's a silent way that you can do it or not, but that, that's some of the stuff that's always running through my mind. Like, and I always tell people, like, I kind of stay ready so I don't have to get ready in a sense, man. But it, I just feel like I'm moving, man. But she, she doing too much moving, though. Some cigarettes inside, yeah. yeah. Which ones do you want? Which ones do you want? I'm not picky. Give me any kind. Give me all of them. Yeah, just toss them in. Keep it moving. No, I'm running low on time. And I'd advise you to move a little quicker. Trust me, I don't want to have to pull the trigger. I've done it before. It's not a pretty Hurry picture. Up. What, you don't believe me? I'm just playing with you. Well, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. Just do what I say, because if you even think of trying to pull a fast one on me, promise you'll be sorry. Oh, my driver's calling. I can't miss my pickup. That's when I did something stupid in my jacket. Knocked over a can of soup in there. It got quiet. Did he hear me moving? Shh, hold my breath. He must have heard me do it, huh? I'm assuming the noise must have made him turn his head enough to let the guy that was at gunpoint grab his own gun. Now they both got weapons. Maybe I should help him sneak up slow and deck him. Time to go, time to go, Woo. time to go. It's going to be a bloody miracle. Now I never got it fired. Any blessings coming in my future? Could you send them to my present? Peek around the edge and I start running at him. He don't oh. see me coming. Does he step in closer? Grab his neck and hold him, squeezing on his throat. I'm trying to choke him. Then his elbow hits my nose and... I think he broke it, I think he broke it, my blood is leaking all over my toes, I try not to let go, but my hands begin to slip and bullets start to fly, can't see out my eyes, eyes. cash is still alive, I can tell I'm trying to crawl away, here comes another guy, he runs inside like, where's the money, did you get the money, where's the bag you brought, I don't know, I think it's still behind the counter, probably by the cashier I just shot, who's this on the floor, who's this on the floor, I don't know, well, did they call the cop, he runs up to me, then he grabs my shoulder as he flips me over, then my jaw drops, cause I thought his voice sounded real familiar, he's got a mask on, but the shirt he's wearing is the same one he had on this morning, staring in my eyes, I know he knows, I know, embarrassed he stands up, wait, is this the guy that was on the couch? And I, I want to, well, I ain't going to go back, but I, I want y'all to, well, no, I, I'm going to have to go back, man, because when the gunshot started going off, you could kind of hear the, like, the the sound, like the gunfire, it kind of blended in with the beat as it was going, so it, it added more of a dramatic effect to the, you know, like, to everything that going on, but it, I hadn't got so caught up into it. I ain't gonna lie to y'all. Like, I ain't, I ain't know what she was gonna do, but I knew I knew she was doing too much moving. I, I told y'all that. And she messed around and knocked something over, but it kind of worked out because, and which, like, really, as soon as the uh, as the robber turned around, the guy behind the register, he, he you know what I'm saying, he, he should have, you know, had a little, a little specialization where he could have, uh, you know, flipped that thing around and held the gun at him. So, you know what I'm saying, hunting ain't fun when the rabbit got the gun, man. But he, he should have flipped, you know, flipped the gun around on him. But the fact that he still got a gun, I don't, and which I don't, I don't know the laws and stuff, but I don't know if if he probably could have, like, hit him with a neutralizer shot in the leg or something like that or, or what. But I, I'm sure it's some type of law that, you know, kind of prevent him from shooting the robber unless, you know, something else going on. But it, it it's a lot going on here, man.
But I, I do want y'all to pay attention to those gunshots, though. Do it, huh? I'm assuming the noise must have made him turn his head enough to let the guy He's that right was here. at gunpoint grab his own gun. Now they both got weapons. Maybe I should help him sneak up slow and deck him. Time to go, time to go, time to go. It's gonna be a bloody miracle. Now I never got it fired. Any blessings coming in my future? Could you send him to my present? Peek around the edge and I start running at him. He don't see me coming. Does he step in closer? Grab his neck and hold him. Squeezing on his throat. I'm trying to choke him. Then his elbow hits my nose and... Think he broke it, I think he broke it, my blood is leaking all over my toes, I try not to let go, but my hands begin to slip and bullets start to fly, can't see out my eyes, Cash is still alive, I can't tell I'm trying to crawl away, here comes another guy, he runs inside like, where's the money, did you get the money, where's the bag you brought, I don't know, I think it's still behind the counter, probably by the cashier I just shot, who's this on the floor, who's this on the floor, I don't know, what did they call the cop, he runs up to me, then he grabs my shoulder, my jaw drops cause I thought his voice sounded real familiar He's got a mask on but the shirt he's wearing Is the same one he had on this morning Staring in my eyes I know he knows I know embarrassed He stands above me and says sorry Aaron But I don't have a choice He holds the barrel up to my head I scream you can't be serious He shakes his head and says I'm sorry Then the gun No Wait is it the old man? Oh, he saved him. Oof. It's over with. Come on, you can make it. You can make it. Cashier yells to ask if I'm okay. He's dialing 911. I run over to him, grab his phone, and try to help him up. It's been a robbery. The cashier was shot. He needs an ambulance. He looks kind of pale. I think he might have lost a lot of blood. Okay, help is on the way. Has anybody else been injured? Yeah, the robbers. There were two of them. Can you tell me their condition? Are they still alive? Well, I'm not really it. sure, but they don't look so good. I'm pretty sure they're dead. Yeah, I think they're dead. All right, take a deep breath. Hey. It's gonna be okay. You're gonna be all right. Hold on, see my boy. Hey. My boy got on them black forces now, so you know we're standing on business. I just peeped that. <laughs> Dang, I hope, I don't know. It, it look like it might be over with for him, though, but he got them black forces on, so you know what time it is. They don't look so good. I'm pretty sure they're dead. Yeah, I think they're dead. Yeah. All right, take a deep breath. Everything's going to be okay. You're going to be all right. Yeah, they might be over with for him. So y'all, y'all gotta let me know too, cause she said that the voice sounded familiar. I'm willing to bet that was buddy that was laying on the couch early when earlier before she left the house. Man, this ah, uh, I don't I don't know if I missed nothing, but if I did, y'all gonna have to let me know. But this, man, this was amazing, and it this like top tier storytelling too, man. Shoot, woo, and I I keep telling y'all. It's like each portion of the journey just keep getting better and better and better, man. But this 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 was one right. This, I'm gonna remember this one right here, man. But I hope y'all enjoyed it. We I'm gonna keep going, keep getting these up on the channel, man. You know, part of the clouds mixtape. Y'all make sure that y'all like, comment, and subscribe, and let let me know about this story. Like, you know, was I was I following it the right way or? Was I completely off? Did I miss something? Or do y'all have some do y'all got anything that y'all can add to it that could, you know, help help me gather more of the story? But that's gonna do it, man. Y'all make sure that y'all stay positive and stay smiling. And without further ado, this is your boy Retro Quinn. About